In this video, I want to talk about properties of uh, the expectation of a random variable and also the variance of a random variable. So we've defined what these two concepts actually mean in previous videos. In this video, I want to talk about various properties of these particular um, concepts. So let's think about the expectation of a random variable x. And actually, let's do that in a different color. So the expectation of a random variable x, we know that that's the definition from the law of the unconscious statistician as the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of x times our sort of probability density function, which is f of x, integrated across all space. So let's think about now what happens if we want to, want to find the expectation of, let's say, a constant a times our random variable x. Well, then a just enters the integral there. And because this a doesn't vary, we can just take it outside of the integral. And so we're just left with the original integral we had before, which is just a times the expectation of x. So that's a particular rule, that if we multiply a random variable by a sort of constant, then the expectation just sort of gets magnified by that constant. Okay, so let's now think about what happens to the variance of a random variable when we multiply that by a constant. Remember what the variance is, it's defined as the expectation of x um, minus mu x um, all squared. But now we're going to have an a in there, so we're just going to have an a times x minus, well we know that the mean just gets boosted by an amount a, so that's just a times mu x, where I'm sort of defining the expectation uh, of x as mu x, so that's just a times mu x up here for consistency. And then when I square that, well, it's quite obvious to see here that I'm, I can just sort of take A out of this parenthesis. But because I'm squaring this parenthesis, I'm actually just going to get A squared times the variance of X. And that's an important thing to remember, because if I multiply my random variable by an amount, let's say, 2, um, then the expectation goes up by a factor of 2, but the variance goes up by a factor of 4. And that's because of the fact that we're looking at the sort of square distance of points away from the mean. Okay, so that's uh, another rule that we need to know. A, a further one which is useful to know is what happens if I take the expectation of a times x plus b times y, where x and y are both uh, random variables and a and b are just constants. Then by a similar argument to this sort of first argument, we can just prove that this is just equal to a times the expectation of x plus b times the expectation of y. And that follows because um, the expectations operator, in other words, the integral, is just a linear operator. So I can just separate this, this out into two separate integrals. So I just get a times mu x plus b times mu y. Okay, so that's what happens if I combine uh, in a sum um, two random variables pre-multiplied by different constants. Let's think about now what happens to the variance of a combination of two random variables multiplied by constants then let's just remind ourselves of what this actually means. This is the expectation of ax plus by minus a times mu x, because that's just the um, expectation of a times x, minus b times mu y, and we're squaring all of that. And we can actually separate this out into two separate terms. So this can actually be written as the expectation of, let's say we can have ax minus a mu x, so if you think about that particular term, and then we can add to that, uh, we're gonna have uh, b times y minus b times mu y, and that's our sort of second term, and then we're square squaring everything within this parenthesis. So quite obviously, this is just expanding out a quadratic, and the sort of first term is gonna yield a squared times the variance of x, and the sort of last term when I sort of square this second parenthesis here, it's just going to be b squared times the variance of y. Okay, so those are the two sort of uh, first and the last term. What about the two middle terms in the quadratic? Well, actually, it turns out that this is just going to be, if you sort of think about doing this, I'm not going to write it here, but it's just going to be 2 because of whenever you multiply, multiply out a parenthesis, you get 2 times the sort of two things. Um, you're going to get 2 times a, b, and you're actually going to have the covariance between x and y because you sort of look at each of these parentheses, these parentheses in turn, 
The first one is just a times open bracket x minus mu x, and the second one is just b times y minus mu y. So that's just the definition of the covariance of x and y. So this is the rule for multiplying out a um, sort of, or finding rather the variance of a combination of random variables.